Hi everybody, my name's Matt. I'm the AI product specialist here at Avalites HQ in London, and today we're going to be going through 3D projection mapping in AI. When doing 3D projection mapping, you need to start off with having a 3D model. So we actually have a show here from uh, an Eric Prids event from a couple years ago, where he used a stage like this. So we load in the 3D model by dragging and dropping the file onto the icon at the bottom here. You can use 3DS files or OBJ files. Uh, most modern 3D modeling softwares can export in either one of those formats. And then we see that the scaling is a bit off. So we're going to change the scaling to one by one by one so that our 3D model, which was made to scale, shows up correctly in our 3D visualizer here. And let's just give it a name. And the next thing we're going to do is add in this projector fixture. Now the projector fixture acts as essentially a virtual camera in this space. So whatever it sees will come out of our output. So I'm just going to change some of the settings on this projector to be 16 by 9 aspect ratio and approximately a 1.6 lens ratio for our model of projector. And we'll give it a name here. And now we want to go onto the performance page. Create a new media bank. Give it a name. And we will load in our media content. So this is some custom content that was made for the show that we can just drag and drop into our bank here. So if we load up this test pattern, you'll see that all of the faces are correct. And this is because we're using what's called a UV map. And a UV map essentially takes the 3D model and unwraps it into 2D space. So you can see here the different sides of the 3D model are represented by these regions on the clip. So when we come to our custom content, it's rendered out with exactly the same UV map so that you can get correct perspective-based content. Now let me just exit out of there and we'll put up our test pattern again. So going to our output page, what we would want to do is delete this screen region because that's just sending the 2D image to output 2. And instead, we want to say this, select this projector, select our output, and assign the projector to the output. And you can see the 3D model there. Now using AutoMap, we can do a four-point calibration to determine the position of the projector with respect to the model. I want to go here and make sure that point one is selected, select model vertex, and go to next point on click. And then we can click and highlight our points until they go pink. And do that for point two, point three, and point four. And now we can see that this has moved on to set out position. And here, we're going to look at our physical world and using the crosshair, line up one, two, three, and finally number four. And there we go. We've got our projector moved into position. And essentially what's happened is in our 3D world, it's taken that geometry and calibrated the position of our projector with respect to our 3D model. So we've got our angle, our X position, our Y position. Uh, but now we want to go back to our output page and make even more fine adjustments because no 3D model is ever 100% accurate with what is in the stage. So we can go to our mapping editor here and actually change some of where our vertexes, our vertices map up. So here we can move that ever so slightly to the right. And we'll grab this one as well, move that into position. And we can spend a little bit of time just making sure all of the lines match up perfectly. And once we're happy with the result, turn off Edit Mesh, go to our performance page, select our screen surface, and we can play our content. And playing content is exactly like playing video content for a 2D screen, but now we're just using 
this 3D model as our surface to play our video content onto. And we can create some really nice effects using blend modes and everything that we're used to before. If you're unsure about any of this, please go check our other videos. And there we go. And that is how to do 3D projection mapping in AI. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more about AI, check out our other videos and see you guys soon.